a young Nini, yes, a young Nini. It's so nice to see her back where she belongs. She's got her wide back and her missing tooth. What kind of Nini is that? That's a young Nini. Ooh, a young Nini? A young Nini. So we start off with Sheree's shitty fashions because she gonna finally have a garment at her show. The shit looks a fool. I don't know how you gonna let Dwight help you with the fashion show when he can't help himself with his nostrils. It's so funny to hear her talk about this fashion line years ago, talking about pulling it off, and here we are a decade later, and you ain't done shit for a decade. The design of a decade, or lack thereof. You know, if you had to rely on your own clothing line, you'd be nude. Mm. We got Ed Hartwell and uh, Lisa Wu, you know, back when they mattered. And uh, this is when he realizes he ain't playing no more and they got to sell that house because they simply can't afford it. They call it a downsize, but the truth is it's a short sale. Downsize, please. You downsize when you no longer need something, not when you can't afford the upkeep anymore or the payments. Lisa Wu acting like she could bring some money in. Girl, please, you cannot scare up $200,000 a year for mortgage. And you know what? Life has proved that right. So we have a young Nene with her Julie Andrews wig and season two nostrils. And she went to Athens to find her pappy. So Nene told Greg she wasn't going to look for the pappy, but she went on and looked for the pappy. Child, it don't matter because he didn't hang out in y'all's life. It was a cute little plot line. Here we are a decade later, and we ain't heard shit about your family. Hell, we don't even hear about Greg's kids no more. Child, she said Greg wasn't being supportive and, and gave us an early glycerin tear. I will say Candy loyal to her people because Karma and Donna Wanna are still around. So Mama Joyce finally stops giving AJ the third degree. She finally came around and said, okay, I'm going to stop being funky. And that lasted for all of 20 minutes. And AJ short like Todd too. She like him short. Or maybe there's just a lot of short men in Atlanta. Runt country. Bow wow, T.I., mm-hmm, runt country. God, these hair pieces. <laughs> that comb over shit Candy slapped on. Ooh, a Decatur shake and go. And it really does look like she just, oh my God. Polly Pocket in the chat said Kim and her bodega wig. This is a little less Barbie doll, like, silky, but it's still very cheap. She's getting to that Brazzers phase of her life. <laughs> the way she said Lisa fashion show was a disaster, but she doesn't have any taste in clothes, so. And she right, I'll agree with her on that. Lisa couldn't dress for shit. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, that wig is piss yellow. That was her first piss yellow wig. Oh, Candy, the entire front of your head. Girl, it looks like you just got off of a motorcycle. Like, no. Eva said, I can smell the spritz in Candy's hair. It ain't helping. See, now, I got a question for you, liar, Woo Hartwell. How is it an income property when you walk in that joker and it's dirty and you're using it as storage? So where's the income? Why didn't you have a family in there paying you a good rental coin? Toya and Eugene could have been up in there. They credit deferred asses could have used a rental home. They always looking for a new rental. Y'all talk about put the guest house over here. The swimming pool will go here. Child, y'all are being put out. You're being put out. You ain't got guest house and pool money. If you did, you'd be at your other home. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Nene, go over to White and sit down. And she says, child, I got to tell you about Kim. He says, not her again. I feel the same way. Not her again. 
So this is when Nene uh, choked Kim, but it wasn't on camera, but it was at Atlantic Station. Quiet as is kept, Dwight does look like he could put together a fashion show. He's very calm. He's directing everybody. He's give I'm impressed. Yeah, he could have put together Marlo's empty shit. Dwight's trying to get the shit fabulous, and uh, Sheree said, I want it styled like every day. I, I mean, when you think about how clothes are sold, it, it's a lot more dramatic. It's not every day. Sheree acting like uh, Lawrence is on her beck and call, honey. He said, you better come down here at five. I have other heads to do. So Nene and Kim have a sit down after the choking. Is your wig squeezing your brain too tight, heifer? You put your hands on me. So, child, they both swatted at each other, and ain't nobody gonna fess up to who hit who first, and they both mad about it. Oh, God, she back to that damn baby doll wig again. I, I'm sure Kim did do something, so Nene walk off because she ain't gonna listen to Kim's lies or look at her in her prostitute blonde wig. Ha! <laughs> you and your wig, get out of my life. So Sheree didn't have the gas money to get downtown, so she goes on and lets them do her hair at the fashion show. And now we have Kim and Nene, and they see each other. Nene really did want to be on Tardy for the party. I mean, if Nene knew how to act, she just could have asked Candy for another song and maybe had her own hit. We could have kept it real with Nene. Instead, we had Tardy for the party, and that was like... It was a fun Bravo song, but like it was a housewife song. Like, you know, si, c'est le bon, c'est bon, si, or whatever um, Luann got. And money don't buy you class, my friend. I mean, she got that real low register, that deep femininity. Sheree said, if I don't pull this one off, there will not be a future for she by Sheree. You don't know how right you were. You don't know how right you were. 74 per, wait, 74% of Americans are buying gifts for others so they can use them themselves, too. Well, I guess that's like cars, uh, TVs, a new mattress, a dog. Like, you ain't gonna get a dog and it's like, I don't wanna fuck with it. So, uh, that does make sense. A lot of time, anything for the home, it's like, everybody's gonna get to use this. Now, don't be buying me no sweater and thinking you're going to borrow it, because you ain't. Dwight put together one of the best fashion shows we've seen on, on the franchise. God, these clothes really lack form. A lot of sacky boo-boo dresses. Too many corsets and too poor material. Dwight was so right about adding all the jewelry and using as many fur pieces as possible. It did glam the stuff up that would have looked regular, but it was like, oh, okay. Especially because just the materials and whoever was making it, I just, I need a tighter seam. I like a harsh, clean line. Child, the jury and the accessories are outshining the clothes. <laughs> Because they shitty, and they would have looked shitty all by themselves. At least you dressed it up a bit. So it's like, I could almost see wearing that if it was better made. Sheree said, I got to pat myself on the back, but what did you do, boo? I'm going to check you. That was, we saw Dwight do all the work. That was his event. Ah, next time around, watch out. Ain't shit to see. Okay, so we at, we got the little ending titles. Oh, and, and Candy's uh, harmonizing. Oh, we're getting, I fly above all the haters. I, I fly above, I, I fly above. Um, wow, I was able to name that tune pretty quick. But uh, She Should Buy Sheree was presented during Fashion Week in New York. Okay. Uh, she's now producing her own line of exercise videos and continues to build her empire. I don't even think she had started building this edifice. Girl, the lies. Closet Freak will be in upscale stores this spring. Upscale? Upscale. You got Ed making jury at the craft table, but you're going to be in upscale stores. Upscale. I'm so comfortable in the skin I'm in. Nene said, I hope Kim and Candy and Tardy for the party jump in the river and drown. Oh my god, I forgot good old Bitter Nene. 
Ivy, she is giving us um, Tracy Braxton, the group that left my ass behind. Sheree really gonna say I'm classy, elegant, and upscale. Up what scale? Did you put on a couple pounds? Y'all love to use the word upscale too much when ain't nothing about you upscale. Ain't nothing wrong with being regular, especially when you got regular ass money. You ain't, ooh, Sheree. Yeah, your upscale days were over, and I think Bob always had that ass on a tight budget. I just realized that Sheree Whitfield has the closed mouth chunky heel problem.